This morning's full of surprises, Leonidas. We've been tricked. Something more than a few hundred. This is a surprise. Silence! This isn't an army. We heard Sparta was on the warpath. We were eager to join forces. If it is blood you seek, you're welcome to join us. But you bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? You see, I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. Doesn't it? You, there. What is your profession? I'm a potter, sir. And you, Arcadian, what is your profession? Sculptor, sir. Sculptor. And you? Blacksmith. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> See, old friend, I brought more soldiers than you did. Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak Kodash. Hey, much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, and all you brothers that's with the Lord that's repenting and renewing your mind day by day. And uh, Shalom to all you false prophets and all you false brethren that are in the flesh. That are carnal. The scripture tell you to be carnally minded is death. Um, this world, uh, let me just say this too. When you go to Matthew 8, um, that's why it's important to stay in the spirit. Uh, a lot of people don't even understand the spirit anymore because they're so um, in tune with the flesh. And that's what the Lord will give you over to your own heart's lust. Like I did that lesson um, probably about a week ago. But this is what the Lord will really do when you really, when your heart is really somewhere outside of the Lord. And when it is outside of the Lord like that, it's going to be in the flesh. And men will think that uh, the flesh is, um, is a place where you're supposed to be exalted. Like a lot of you guys forgot what this is about but all the false prophets they have a place in the world they have a they have all the foxes they have holes you see what i'm saying you know this truth ain't about making a name for yourself the lord said um he didn't have any reputation but a lot of guys they're in the flesh and they think they should be exalted you know it, it is heavy all the false prophets are exalted in this world this world is for false prophets and for false brethren and this world is against the Lord. You know, guys don't even have the gospel, but they're teaching the Bible. Guys are not even in the spirit, but they're teaching the Bible. Um, I want to go through a couple things in the scriptures because uh, the gospel has nothing to do with the flesh. Uh, the scripture tell you that it's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh is not going to profit. So if you think you're profiting in the flesh, you're not really profiting at all in the spirit. Because a lot of you guys are just of the world. <clears throat> and the last in the last moments that has revealed it. And men are repenting. Men are turning back to God. And what's happening is uh Satan last fight for this world. So everybody that's of the world, they think they think they're in good case because they're being exalted with the world. But the Lord tells you he didn't have no place in the world. So a lot of you guys, um, you're in that spirit of um, the world. All these false prophets in these camps, you know, they think that them being exalted and them having numbers and shit like that, they think that is of God. That is of the world. Their, their numbers is of the world. How is shy he's out of this world. That's the, the lesson the Lord taught us is to see this thing in the spirit, not in the flesh. Yahweh Shai hid himself. Yahweh Shai withdrew himself. Yahweh Shai sent the multitudes away. But for some reason, because guys are reprobates, they think um, being exalted, you know, hey, guys be like, the Lord's exalting us. <laughs> Like guys are totally like they like they like it's it's heavy, man. It is really heavy. 
You're supposed to be head in the Lord, not exalted with the world, man. Idiots out here. Uh, Matthew chapter eight, verse one. See this, this right here. This, this is our, this is our profession over here. This is what we really do. And a lot of you guys know, this is what we really do. You know, the, the world has nothing to do with this. Matter of fact, the world can't even comprehend the understanding that we do have. So like, so like the, like the scriptures say, if, if we were of the world then the world will accept us and then we'd be exalted in the world, but we're not exalted. We're not, we're, that's not our whole, that's not our thing to be exalted. You know, our thing is to play the background. <laughs> Man, it is heavy, God. Guys are just losing it, man. It's heavy. Matthew 8 and 1, it says, And when he, and when he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes follow him. Right, so the Lord, he had a following, but he was away in the mountain. Now, when you go to the cities and the synagogues and all that shit, men were in the, in the synagogues and they were in the towns with the, the scribes and the Pharisees. But yeah, the Lord did have a, a following, you know, the, people did follow him, him in his spirit. He did a lot of healing. But as far as when you deal with going to the synagogues and the cities and the Sanhedrin's and the churches, those were taken over by false prophets. But the Lord, he had his own following. You see, people did follow him. It says, uh, and behold, there came a, a leper and worshiped him saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can this make me clean? And Yahweh shall put forth his hands and touch them, saying, I will be clean. I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Yahweh Shai saith unto him, See thou no man. He says, See thou tell no man, but go thy way to the priest, but offer the gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto him. Right? See thou tell no man. The Lord was keeping um, the low. He was keeping cover. He, he, this wasn't about him uh, being exalted. Like I heard somebody say something about being exalting. This ain't about you being exalted. This is about teaching the Lord. A lot of you guys are not even teaching the Lord, bro. It's heavy. A lot of you guys are cursed. Hey, scripture say, cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. And the majority of guys are teaching the word of the Lord deceitfully. They're not teaching it with love. They're teaching it with hate. Guys don't even have the gospel anymore. It is heavy. So a lot of guys are being cast out into darkness. And they think the darkness of this world is being exalted in the Lord. It is heavy, bro. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It, it is crazy, man. Um, let's go down here. Yeah, so the Lord was in the spirit to, in the spirit of tell no man. That means the Lord was in the spirit of not trying to be exalted, bro. That's the, the Lord was in the spirit of just healing and just playing the, playing the background. And that's the spirit that we're in. So if the Lord wasn't in that spirit of being exalted, his men are not in that spirit of being exalted. You know, it's heavy, man. It is heavy. It is very heavy in this time. Um, I'm going to jump down. Uh, Matthew chapter 8, verse 19. Now when Yahweh Shai saw great multitudes about him, he gave the commandment to depart unto the other side. So the Lord departed from the multitude. All right. A lot of you, you forgetting. Me. <laughs> it's crazy. The Lord departed to the other side. It says, and a certain scribe said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whatsoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, the foxes have holes. See, the Lord was all about departing. Look, let me read 18 again. Now when Yahweh Shai saw great multitudes about him, he gave a commandment to depart unto the other side. And a certain scribe, so the Lord, he wasn't about being uh, 
like being out there like that amongst the multitude. He wasn't about being exalted. This ain't about being exalted in this world, bro. Uh, the scriptures say the flesh, this is the spirit that quick enough the flesh don't profit anything. But if you're in the flesh, then you think you're profiting because you're of the flesh, you see. If you're in the spirit, you're not trying to be exalted. But if that's what you want, that's what, what you will get. You see what I'm saying? See, us brothers, we don't want that. We don't want none of that. What we're doing is very effective any anyway. You know how effective it is? Because nobody can really dance to what we're singing like that. So if the world can dance to what you're singing, then that means you're of the world and the world hears you. You see that? All you worldly motherfuckers. You see? Fall into the world. You got you guys are carnal, man. It's crazy. Yahweh Shai is not like you fucking guys, bro. And us men that are of the Lord, we're nothing like you guys of the world. That's why we're hated of all men. You see, we're not exalted here. This ain't our place to be exalted. All the foxes have holes, like the Lord about to say. It says, and a certain scribe came down unto him, Master, I will follow thee whatsoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, the foxes have holes. The foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the son of man have nowhere to rest his head. And this is what you got to understand. Right, Matthew 8, Matthew 8 and uh, 20, it says, <clears throat> and Yahweh Shai said, it says, uh, Matthew 8, 19, and a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whatsoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nest, but the son of man have not where to lay his head. Right, so... Yahweh Shai is telling this guy after the Lord um, gave the commandment to depart um, to the other side, away from the multitudes. He told this guy, he said th that wanted to follow him. He said the foxes have holes, but the son of man don't have nowhere to uh, rest his head. So you got to understand this, 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 this world is not a place for us to rest. This, this is not our rest here. And this is not our heaven here, bro. You know, a lot of you guys, you're of the world, bro. And this, this is your world. You know what I'm saying? This is your heaven. That's why the scripture tell you that the, 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 the children of the kingdom, uh, the, the the children of, of of this world, they're they're more um um uh, um uh, um they shall be uh they they shall be cast out into outer darkness. You gotta understand that um this is not our place, bro. This is not a place that we be exalted. So if you're being exalted in this world, or if you have a place in the world, then you're of the world. Cause the fox is what they have holes and the son of man, he have no place to rest his head, man. So it's, it's really heavy to actually understand. Um, you have a shy, you have a shy, even though he had a following, he still was not a part of the world. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Matthew 8 and 20. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, The foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the son of man have no, have not where to lay his head. Right? So we don't have a place here at all. You know, we're just passing through. This ain't our heaven here. A lot of you guys, this is, this is your, this is your world. And the world, 
Hey, the scriptures say they of the world. So the world hear them. We're not here for the world. We're not here for everybody. The Lord said one man out of a thousand where there are two or three gathered. So a lot of guys forget that because they they get so uh, caught up into the world because this is the wicked world. They think that um, this is uh, that's a good thing. You're in good case. But the thing is to not be of the world, to not even be a part of the world. The, the Lord said the son of man have no place to rest his head. So the Lord, he took the low. It says, and another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go bury my father. But Yahweh Shai said unto him, follow me and let the dead bury the dead. Exactly. So, um, the Lord tells you also to take the Lord's seat. Now, when you're exalted, you're not taking the Lord's seat. The wicked are exalted. The scriptures say the vilest men are exalted. I think a lot of guys don't even really understand the scriptures like that. So you have these guys, they teach all these things and they may teach prophecies and this, that, and the third. But they're not understanding that to the thing of Yahweh Shai, the Lord, he took the low. And the ones that's exalted, the vilest men are exalted on every side in this world. So you don't want to be exalted at all. Psalms 12 and 8, it says the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. So a lot of guys, they're, they're exalting themselves, but they're, they are the vilest men. Yahweh Shai has have no place to rest his head in the world, meaning that the ones of Yahweh Shai, they're not going to have a place in this world. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Right. So men that's being exalted, they are the vilest in the world. That's why you, you want to keep a low profile. You don't want to um, be uh, high or exalted. The Lord has us exactly where we're supposed to be. And that is beautiful. Even though uh, the Lord don't have us in the world, we're still effective with the gospel. You see what I'm saying? So it's actually, it's beautiful in this time. So the wicked, they don't have an understanding like that. They, they think being of the world, that that makes them of God. No, you, you're just, you're being, you're being, becoming one with this world. So the world hears you. The ones, the, the, the narrow path of the ones that's going to find the way of the elect, it is not a pathway with the world. It's a pathway that you're going to have to find, you know, sort of like the matrix when you find that certain phone booth. So you go back to the matrix, Morpheus and them with the phone booth. They wasn't exalted with that world. It's the same thing with Yahweh Shai. Even though the Lord had a following, he still didn't have a place or a, 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 or, or a hole in the world. Like a lot of you guys, you have a place in the world. You have a hole in the world because you're of the world. So we don't have a place in the world. The vilest man walk on every side. When the wicked is exalted, the, the vilest man walk on every side. Uh, Luke chapter 14, verse 8, it says, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not at the highest room. This truth is all about just taking the low. Because by you teaching the gospel, the ones that are supposed to hear it, they're going to get to it. And a lot of guys, they don't have the gospel anymore. Uh, well, a lot of guys never had the gospel like that. So you just got to be able to see that. And and the um, the spiritual, the ones that's of God, they're, they're going to be able to see. You can't just fool the like with shit of the world like that. A lot of you guys are fooled with the shit of the world. Um, not understanding that that has nothing to do with the spirit. You see these guys on, um, you know, you have your TD Jakes and these motherfuckers of the world. They get these millions and millions of views that don't make them of the Lord because of the views that don't make you of the Lord because uh, 
thousands or hundreds of people uh, subscribing to you and shit like that. That don't make you of the Lord. Even though you would you would fucking think that because you're a reprobate and you're carnal, but that doesn't make you of the Lord. What the Lord has been doing for us, he keeps us low. That's really teaching this thing. And our words are not for the world. That's why the Lord said, don't cast your pearls to swine. A lot of you guys are swine anyway. You don't have any fucking pearls because your heart and your mind ain't right. And a lot of guys are not repenting themselves. But the elect are repenting. And so when the elect repents, uh, the scripture tell you in Revelations 14, they are secure from Satan. That's what seal goes into. So it's really heavy. Luke chapter 14 yeah, this truth is about taking the low. It's not it's not about being exalted here. This ain't our heaven here. Like a lot of you goddamn jackasses because you're of the world. That explains why you feel that way. Luke chapter 14, verse eight. When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, least a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. Right. Guys are taking these high seats, but they don't fucking belong there. You see what I'm saying? Us few brothers that's really in the spirit, we're already established in the spirit. So guys already know about us in the spirit. Now, can a lot of guys rock with us? Hell no, they can't rock with us because they're not of the spirit. A lot of guys are of the world. <laughs> so we don't need to be exalted here. This ain't our place to be exalted. This ain't what this true for to be exalted. A lot of you guys are reprobates at the last moment. Luke chapter 14, verse uh, 9, it says, and when he bade the and come, he said um, to thee, give this man place and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when thou art bidden, go sit down in the lowest room that when he that bade thee come and he may say unto thee, friend, go up higher. Right. Go up higher in the spirit. You see, then thou shalt have the worship in the presence of them that sit at meet with thee whosoever exalt himself shall be a base right this ain't about exalting yourself you have to keep the low to keep the spirit you see what i'm saying but guys that that are looking at this as something to exalt themselves they're not in the, they're not in the right spirit the foxes have holes but the ones that you have a shy they have no place to rest their head and this is what this is about. It's about keeping the law. It says, uh, whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humble himself shall be exalted. Right? So we're we're not exalted in this world, but we're we are being raised up in the spirit. When the Lord talked about being raised in the last day, it is nothing of the world to be a prince of the world. Because when you're raised up in the world, then that makes you a prince of the world. So now you think this world is your heaven. <laughs> it's crazy as hell. And guys don't even have the gospel anymore. It's like they don't even have no understanding. It, it is heavy. So you got to understand what's what's happening in this in this last day. Yahweh Shai is being raised up. But not being raised to the world, being raised in the spirit to, to understand who you are, to understand that you are the son of power, to manifest yourself as a son of power. Guys think being raised up in the world is being raised up in the spirit. No, he had he didn't have a place in the world. The Lord didn't come here to take the highest seat with this world. The Lord even said, hey, if this is my kingdom, my servants will fight. So this ain't a world to be exalted bro you, you guys got it you got it all fucked up luke 9 and 22 and the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders chief priests and scribes the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and raised the third day right so yahweh shy and the ones of him they're going to be rejected You see? So you how shy the ones that's of God, they're going to be rejected of this world, not accepted, not exalted. You see. The children of the kingdom are not exalted in this world. 
So if you're the children of the kingdom, that means you're the you're the you're you're the elect, you're of Yahweh Shai. But if you're exalted in this world, this means you don't have a new mind. Yes, us in these these fleshly bodies are of God because our hearts and our mind are whole towards the Lord. It's not it's not towards anything else. The world, nothing carnal like that. So that's what makes you perfect in the spirit when your whole mind and heart is to the Lord. So we're not exalted with this world. This is not what this truth ain't about being exalted. <laughs> And, and then if the Lord allow you to do that, that then what happens? Pride. You get pride and you get a reprobate spirit and you're not even teaching the gospels anymore. So the Lord taught us how to keep the low, to keep the spirit. And the Lord keeps us away from that exalted shit. The Lord said, if you be exalted, you, you're going to be a base. You're going to be humble. And a lot of guys are not even in the right spirit. They're carnal. So the scriptures say, uh, to be carnally minded is death. Romans chapter 8 verse 5, it says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Right, so we see who's minding the things of the flesh. The guy, guys um, use the flesh to... Um, to um, justify them. That's what they, they, they think the flesh is justifying them. No, it's not. It's the spirit that justifies you. And that don't have anything to do with the flesh. Romans 8 and 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit do mind the things of the spirit. Now look at all these reprobates in these camps. They get thousands of followers and thousands of, you know, because that's of the world. Now, if you're of God, you're not going to be out there like that. People have to find their way to you. That's what this whole thing is about. You have to find your way to the Lord, that narrow path that's not easy to find. And that is the road that you have to walk down, a narrow path, which many can't walk down because guys are of the world, because they mind the things of the flesh. The flesh doesn't justify you. The spirit, the spirit does. It is the spirit that quickens. The, the flesh don't profit a goddamn thing, but guys think they're profiting in the flesh, think that has to do something with the spirit, and it doesn't. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. That's why so much uh, in this last time, there's so much friction be between the world and you know like the world you know the world hates the spirit and the spirit does can't walk with uh shit of the flesh like that because ultimately that's what guys are after the flesh and us brothers we're after the spirit so we don't have nothing to do with the uh with the flesh like that right so you got you got to understand that um You being of God has nothing to do with this world. Matthew chapter 8. Yeah, so it's, so it's, it's crazy, man. So what we're seeing in this time is um, the ones of the world, they have to be of the world and the ones that's of God, they have to be um, um, against the world and the world is against the, the children of God. But if you're of the world, then the world's going to love you. Matthew 13 and uh, 38, and the field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. And the wicked one is the ones that are of this world. This, the, these are the ones that are exalted in the world. So we don't have a place in the world. The wicked are exalted on every side. But with that, man, let me get out of here. I'll add to this a little bit later. But the Lord, he didn't come here. This ain't our kingdom. This ain't our heaven. The Lord told you that. If this was our kingdom, his servants will fight. <laughs> but a lot of you guys are fighting for this world. 
You see, you're fighting to keep your, your place. You're, you're fighting to keep your channel. You think the things of the world and of the flesh makes you of God. No, by you not having a place in the world, keeping yourself low, that has you a place with God, not the not being justified in the flesh. The flesh don't profit a goddamn thing. So Yahweh Shai wasn't exalted, and we're not supposed to be exalted. The ones that are of God, they're going to take the low, but the ones of the world, they're going to be exalted with the world. And with that, a hey, shalom.